Hey everybody. Today we're going to talk about how to stay positive on your coding journey or you know your boot camp journey or just in life because I do have a few friends that uh, I need to find some way to shout out like in an, in a video one day that that also could use some of this advice. So, um, one of the first things that's really important, especially when you're starting to learn how to code, is to not compare yourselves to other people. Because if you compare your progress to someone that's been doing this for two or three or four years, or someone that's already had an internship, or someone that's already finished a uh, free code camps, you know, entire like front end certificate. Um, now we're, we're being like too, too harsh on ourselves, too hard on ourselves. So when you're learning how to code, you always want to have a growth mindset. Really? You always want to have the feeling like, okay, I know what I know, but I can always learn more. I can always, um, teach more. Um, I can always share more about what I know. And I always, you know, give my opinion from a genuine place and give genuine feedback instead of, uh, you know, lashing out on people that try to give me advice on how to improve. And that's really important because a lot of coding, um, if you work out and you've ever jogged, you know, a lot of coding feels like this, this point where you're always on the brink of, <laughs> of like a, of a breakthrough or a breakdown and it's very similar. I like jogging. So, for example, when I'm jogging, I there's times when I know I can push myself further, right? But my legs, my feet, even my brain, after a certain point, it starts to tell me to give up because this is too hard. And if it's still this hard, you know, after four weeks or three months or six months, then maybe this is not for me. Right. That's the thought that uh, that we have often is, you know, it, it, uh, I'm a year in and this is still incredibly tough. Or I went through all of coding boot camp and I still feel like I don't know what I'm talking about at all. I, I still feel like I can't explain things to people. I still feel like I, I wouldn't be able to, you know, know how to ask for help, you know, if I had a job. And what's important to remember is that you'll you'll learn these things through trial and error. You'll learn these things in your interactions with with other devs. You'll learn these things at meetups. You'll learn these things in, in Slack channels. You'll learn these things on LinkedIn. You really have to as a developer, especially, it's super important that you really put yourself out there so that you get exposed to as much as possible so that you're in the room when people are having these very technical conversations about these dilemmas with the products and services that they're working on at work. And that's not to say that, you know, every single job that you have, you have to be super invested and super passionate, but you should at least be interested or you should be training yourself to um, become interested one day. Because with me, even after coding boot camp, I, I didn't have, uh, I, I didn't enjoy coding as a hobby. So at first I thought, you know, I've always wanted to make video games. I'll get into game dev and, you know, on the weekends or in my downtime, I can work on and, and tinker uh, games and, and things like that. But what I found was that those projects still take too much time for me to enjoy coding as a hobby. You know what I mean? Um, and I also found that uh, I, I hadn't trained that 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 muscle for me coding was was kind of stressful it was scary I was always second guessing what I was putting down um wasn't used to testing my own code I was very very anxious very apprehensive I think is the is the best word and you you just have to remember that you know you have to fail in coding sometimes you know sometimes all you can do is just fix error after error after error. Sometimes all you'll do is read documentation. You might not lay down any code. Sometimes, you know, you'll spend a day just researching different approaches to solve something with code. Sometimes you'll spend two or three days trying to understand this 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 snippet of code that you grabbed off of Stack Overflow and what it's actually doing, you know? There's, there's still things uh, with React that I, I don't actually know <laughs> what they do, like <laughs> use memo or, you know, throttling things. It's, it's hard to understand those things until you see real life context. So I will always, you know, the, the, the biggest medicine 
for, you know, sadness and feeling down on yourself on a developer journey is always more practice, more doing, more conversations, more um, reflection. You know, never, never compare yourself to where someone else is. Always compare yourself to, you know, your your past self so where were you a month ago where were you three months ago where were you six months ago you know i i still remember points where uh, <laughs> i didn't know how to import things in the files and that that was only uh, two years ago maybe two years and some change at this point um i i still remember i had an interview with stack overflow um for an apprenticeship and like the coding challenge was to like do something simple like splitting a string, bombed it. <laughs> so <laughs> to to stay positive, just remember that, you know, if you decided to become a developer, you've now committed to a lifelong journey of learning. And you can't really rush that. It, it does take time. It does take experience. It does take other people tapping you on the shoulder, giving you advice, helping you out along the way. So try your best to stay positive. I wanted to keep this video short and I'm already, you know, a bit longer than I want it to. But, you know, if you need any extra support, um, link up with me, follow me. I'll, I'll do the best I can to keep you inspired because I know how hard it is. See y'all later.